All right, here we go. The most important thing with regard to losing weight is consistency. Wait a minute. Don't be like, duh, that's so obvious you tricked me. Hold on, because being consistent is not quite so easy, is it? Which leads me to one of the biggest questions. Biggest, it's not biggest. One of the questions I get asked the most, the most often question, would be motivation. Um, and I've talked about this before. Motivation is the key to consistency, and consistency is the most important rule not just with weight loss, but with any goal in life, being consistent is critical. So I can tell you like, oh, these are the most effective techniques to burning fat, and this is gonna be the most effective diet, but like, every time with the hair. But if I said, okay guys, we're gonna have chicken and broccoli for dinner, and you thought that you would rather stick needles in your eyeballs than do that, you're not gonna be consistent with it, okay? So, when we put all of the techniques and the tips and the tricks aside of like, ah, oh, the intermittent fasting and the eating schedules and, you know, foods that, that could be thermogenic and, and boost metabolism, all that stuff. I got videos and all that stuff, but it's all pointless if you're not going to do it consistently. So that brings us back to motivation. Um, yeah, this is a tough one, right? Because I see so many people start something and it might not even be weight loss it could be you know any goal anything you want to pursue we start out with all this gusto because oftentimes something has inspired us to start so inspiration motivation two totally different things inspiration is something outside of yourself right that moved you that made you decide to try okay it could be a talk you heard, a book you read, a, 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 a song that motivated you, some documentary on somebody who lost weight that inspired you, right? It's it's something outside of you that moved you. You related to it, it inspired you, and that's wonderful, right? It's the jump start. It's what gets you going. That's usually not the hard part. It's not always tomorrow, right? A lot of us can, can do the just do it. I'm just doing it, but it's like you just do it today, maybe you just do it tomorrow, and then suddenly you stop doing it. Why? Well, that's motivation. So I don't want to negate inspiration and the importance of it, but motivation is what comes from inside of you. It's what's driving you from the inside, not the outside, and that's what keeps the car on the road. So we can jumpstart it with inspiration, but we need motivation to keep it going. So how? How do we do that? Um, and I'm going to take credit for being the first at plagiarizing Nietzsche with the why. Now it's become very cliche to talk about the why, but I stole it first from one of the greater minds of the 20th century. If you've got a why to live for, you can tolerate the how. The how is the work and the sacrifice associated with the goal. And I'm sure when you clicked on this video, it's like, oh man, it's, you know, oh, the biggest secret to weight loss. Like, what's the secret? It's like clickbait. Everybody wants clickbait. Everybody wants a magic bullet, but it just doesn't exist, guys. That's just, it's a lie. It can be done. It's simple to do it, but there's no, there's no trick. There's no secret. There's no, like, magic bullet. It, it's work. You, you gotta eat less food, you gotta make better food choices, you have to move your body. You just, it's, you do. You do in order to lose it, keep it off, and maintain your muscle, maintain your metabolism, and stay healthy. Okay, so in order to do the work every single day, you need a purpose. Work that has a purpose becomes passion. Work without purpose feels punishing. And nobody wants to feel punished every single day, consistently. Life is punishing enough without feeling like you're adding to the mix. So how do you make that work? Not punishing and turn it into passion, it's having that why. Now, maybe you've heard me tell the story about back in the day, which feels like a different lifetime, when I worked on Biggest Loser and contestants would come to the quote ranch, right? And maybe some of you were too young, you never saw an episode, maybe some of you saw you know, season after season. Anyway, you have individuals that are morbidly obese that were several hundred pounds overweight wanted to lose weight were very motivated man they would show up right and we would have these weigh-ins before they would even begin exercising and they would you know scale the number would come up and they'd be like oh my god i'm changing my life 
I, I'm losing all this weight. I'm going to run a marathon after I change my life. I'm going to change the neighborhood. Then I'm going to change my whole town. Then I'm going to fix my state. I mean, they were on fire. Lots of gusto, lots of inspiration. Okay. Then day one, when the workout started, and they're, you know, they're rolling on the floor and they're puking and they're crying and they're crawling to the door. In that moment, I was like, yo, yo why did you come here? Like, what did you think was going to happen? I was going to like sprinkle some trainer dust on you and you're going to shrink right up. Like, why are you here? Because you're ready to give up so fast already, you know, day one. And each and every one of them would like put their little puke bucket down and it's like they would give me their best Scooby, right? It was like, whoa, 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 I don't know. And they, oh, I want to be healthy. It's like, well, what does that even mean? Right? What does healthy mean? And they would have no idea. And that's when the real work began. Oh, my dog's coming in. So if you hear footsteps, it's just pause. Really, in the mid, you had the whole time to come in the whole. Yeah, okay. He's cute though. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That was a tripod. Never that. Anyway, that's when the real work began. Okay. And that's when I would start to ask some leading questions. And you. You're going to need to ask yourself these questions. Like, what is it that you want? What is it that moves you? How is your life going to improve if you lose 20 pounds or you run the marathon or you climb Everest or whatever the health and wellness goal is? In this case, we're talking about weight loss. How's it going to improve? You know, and I would go with everything. I mean, for, I think I can't remember the number now. I feel like it was for every 20 pounds a guy lost, he gained like an inch in his I feel like if I'm going to be bold enough to go there, I should be able to say penis. It's really uncomfortable. Is it uncomfortable for you like it is for me? Anyway, gain like an inch maybe. So I can't remember the exact number, but that was motivating for a lot of my guys. <laughs> they were motivated. So, okay, great. Maybe it's walking your daughter down the aisle. Maybe it's living to meet your great grandchildren. Maybe it's being an inspiration and a role model for your current children. Maybe you just want to feel more comfortable in your own skin, right? Wearing skinny jeans, a brand that you like, that you want to fit into. And it's not to say you can't wear quote skinny jeans at any size. I get it. I know. Can we just like, look, the bottom line is sometimes we feel more comfortable in certain clothing when we are a certain weight. There's nothing wrong with that. Maybe you don't want a health scare when you go to the doctor's office. Maybe you had a health scare and you don't ever want that again, right? I mean, there's a, there's a host of reasons. What are they? Maybe you lost somebody to breast cancer and now you want to live the rest of your life as healthily as possible in their honor. What is it? So I could sit here and give you a million reasons and there, there's, there's not one that's right and there's not one that's wrong. There's not one that's too superficial or too deep or profound. All that matters is that you care about it. That's it. Do you care about it? You know, does it move you? Does it literally move you? Is feeling more comfortable having sex with the lights on versus pizza, which is more exciting for you. You know, now I, I think sex with the lights on is greatly overrated. I'm really going there in this video. You know, it's, it's like, but it's bright. Like 16 hours a day. It's a lot of missed opportunity if you're not comfortable with that. You guys get what I'm saying. So truthfully, the number one most effective way to lose weight is to stop and think about all of the ways it's going to change your life for the better in detail. Visualize it, tell everyone about it, write it down, put it on the screen of your phone, put it on the desktop of your computer, make the list, put it on your fridge. Like, I can give you all the, again, like, oh, eat this and don't eat that and bring your gym back in the car so you feel motivated to go and, you know, eat on a smaller plate. I mean, there's a million things I could say, but the reality is if you're not motivated to do them, what's your why? Really, really dig in on this. I want you to find 20 things. You'll find it. Stop and think about 20 things, 20 ways your life will improve if you took the time to lose the weight, right? There you go. I'm done talking. God knows what I could say next. Okay, team, don't forget, I created this channel just for you guys. So click like, subscribe, and let me know what you want to hear more about. If it's diet, fitness, wellness, mindfulness, I'm here for you. 
So give me your feedback.